past two weeks, the U.S. stock market has been tanking across the board as the financial forecast points to a major economic storm front heading to the United States. With the Dow Jones Industrial Average now seemingly caught up in a volatile roller coaster ride of booms and busts, many stock traders have all but given up on their day-to-day -day predictions. The market has been swinging wildly with up to 4.5% movements in a day. Experts and investors alike are at a loss as they try to predict what will happen next. Investors fear that the market will only continue tanking as economic indicators show more and more warning signs of an imminent stock market crash. And even more troubling, the recent interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve has barely made a dent in the market. The futures market also continues its downward trend, while ETF short interests are at all-time lows. Even the most bullish investors are beginning to lose faith in the Fed's ability to remedy the situation with stimulus. Just a few days ago, the S&P 500 jumped back up to 3124 after the interest rate cut, but it later dropped back to 2990. At this juncture, the stock markets are just too erratic for investors. Even the best market analysts are having trouble keeping up. There may be some catalysts that could trigger a rebound in the market, but based on history, it's likely that none of them will push the markets up in the long term. The stock market crash has already begun, and it may be irreversible, no matter what the Federal Reserve does to try and stop it. This kind of market movement was last seen during the Great Depression. We've only had 65 occasions in history where the Dow has recorded a daily loss that exceeds three standard deviations over the average daily return. This just happened last week even though most similar occurrences took place in the 1900s to 1950s. What is currently happening to the stock market is a very rare event in the scheme of history, even including the Great Depression and both world wars. Nothing seems to match the current situation overall in the market. In those events, historical data shows very little correlation with what's happening now. In fact, the closest comparison to current market behavior was in 1933, when the U.S. abandoned the gold standard in the midst of the Great Depression. This happened right after a financial boom period. Even after the Great Depression technically ended, the stock market was still in a free fall, similar to what's happening now. These dire circumstances led to the signing of Executive Order 6102 by the Federal Reserve, the action confiscated all gold from the public and devalued the dollar against gold. According to many economists, this is what led to the recovery of the stock market after the Great Depression. Experts are predicting that the Federal Reserve is planning to do this to prevent the collapse of the current stock market. We have extremely high debt levels, a reality that the Federal Reserve often seems to ignore. The recent interest rate cut is just the beginning of a series of economic stimulus measures that will likely be enacted by the Federal Reserve to try and uplift a dying economy. We may see a whole new period of quantitative easing as the central bank tries to pump billions of dollars into the stock market to keep it afloat. Under those circumstances, many economists are predicting massive levels of deflation similar to what happened back in 1929, leading into the Great Depression. We would likely see prices skyrocket, and some major financial institutions could go bankrupt when this inflated economy bursts. As the stock market plummets, investors have now withdrawn $22.2 billion from the United States funds that buy corporate bonds. This is the most sizable withdrawal in a one-week period for the last 10 years. At the same time, the 10-year yield curve remains below the one-year curve, and the markets are expected to continue imploding. If the Federal Reserve continues to dilute and devalue the dollar, we can expect the prices of consumer goods to increase. Various commodities will become more expensive as the dollar loses its purchasing power, and a devastating economic meltdown could hit the United States. This would likely result in millions of Americans losing large pockets of wealth 
when various assets are repriced against gold. The move would essentially make the value of gold the international standard for trade, turning the US dollar into a domestic currency. It would then serve a similar purpose as the Mexican peso and other currencies that are used only within their countries. The financial difficulties we are experiencing now are a result of an economy filled with fake value, sustained by debt for decades. President Trump has been aggressively pushing the United States economy into further debt and lower interest rates. In fact, with the current rate cuts by the Federal Reserve, it is only a matter of time before we have zero or even negative interest rates. This will not help in the long term, as it will only encourage people to take on more debt. What is happening in the stock market now is a mere foreshadowing of the economic meltdown to come. If the stock market continues to plummet, we face yet another financial crisis in which many will insist upon another massive bailout of failing financial institutions. America is the most prosperous nation in history, but for many decades, the American economy has been fueled by debt. We are now at the tipping point in terms of the accumulation of that debt. It's putting the global economy in jeopardy and sooner or later, we must face the music. The meltdown has already begun on Wall Street. The Dow continues to behave with increased volatility with an overall downward trend. This has forced the Federal Reserve to step in and buy stocks worth billions to try and save the collapsing stock market. However, one question remains unanswered. How long will the Fed do this? All signs indicate that the stock market will crash anyway, then lose 20 to 30% of its value. The truth is that the Federal Reserve cannot sustain the inflated market forever. A day of reckoning will come, and the results will be catastrophic to many people and many businesses. This game cannot go on forever. It will eventually stop. The question is not if, but when this economic meltdown will happen. We already have a huge national debt, which consistently requires Fed intervention in practically all our financial markets. Because of the global slowdown, the value of the dollar index has dropped in the past two weeks. Previously, the dollar index was rising until the stock market began plummeting. This means the capital inflow into the U.S. stock market is very low, as times like these typically see most investors pulling their money out of stocks. This is the reason why the dollar index has been weakening every day for the last two weeks. Tough economic times are ahead, as many indicators point to a collapse worse than the housing crash of 2008. American elites and politicians have grown blind and complacent acting for their own good instead of being mindful of what's best for American citizens. They have created a bubble economy that cannot be sustained. And perhaps now is the time that our leaders will finally recognize the error of their ways. It is clear that the government does not understand what is really happening with the economy. Trump believes that tax reduction for billionaires and cutting interest rates to zero could help the economy. Ironically, this is a rather backwards way of thinking. It means that the Federal Reserve will issue loans that have no interest obligation. This will only damage the financial system and make the predicament worse. This reduction in interest rate is not addressing the real economic problem, and the strategy will almost certainly fail. We have accumulated massive amounts of over-leveraged debt just like in 2007, prior to the global financial crisis. If the Federal Reserve does not figure out a new way to address this issue, it will only be a matter of time before we find ourselves engulfed in financial chaos. The stock market itself is now little more than a glorified Ponzi scheme. It is clear that something worse than the Great Depression could easily come our way. We have the most overvalued stock market in history, an unsustainable bubble. The Federal Reserve already lost the game when they began preventative interest rate cuts. The two largest economies in the world, the US and China, are both slowing down at alarming rates. 
the impending economic collapse may be impossible to avoid. The crisis in the U.S. will easily spread to other countries, culminating in a global economic meltdown. It will affect each one of us. At this point, the best thing we can do as individuals is prepare.